Man. Are you ready, Jim? Because I keep hearing something funky from the... Uh... I'm out. the journey with Wacky Wanda. You know, last time she was here, she had a bunch of stuff that she brought, and she gave it to God. Remember, she put it on the big cross that was there? So, her next step is she's going to get baptized, so we're so excited for her to come today, and that you all get to, to witness her public declaration in Christ, where she's dead to herself, and she's alive in Jesus Christ. Has anybody seen Wanda? Wanda! Wanda, are you, where is she? Wa How did this get in here? Oh my gosh! Wanda? What? Oh! Wanda? Is that you? Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't hear you! How did you get in there? What? What? Oh! Oh my god, what is in your nose? Oh! Oh my gosh, what is oh, that? Oh, 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 it's like a booger! Like I've been, Miss Jenny. Have you been backsliding? Well, you know, you told me I was going to have to come in here and, and die so to, in order to be baptized. So I wanted to go out and do some living. So I went out and partied like it was 1999. I got on a boat. Hey, check it out. Oh, my gosh, there's my boat. So are you telling me that you were out on the Lake of the Ozarks and you were boating and partying it up and like a, 1999. And a whale ate you? Can I tell you the whole thing? What were you smoking? Oh, girlfriend, you know. <laughs> oh, it's right there. It's a black marble. Uh, okay. I was <laughs> a little concerned. concerned. Is Sin following me around, Miss Jenny? I mean, there's my wine bottle. I was having a fine time. The sun was shining. Can I just paint this picture for you? Yeah, go ahead. I really liked my journey because we was out on the boat and we was partying. We was dancing to some guy named Formerly Prince, I think. But we was in this cove, and the sun was so bright, and the sky was this beautiful blue, right? And this, the water was as smooth as glass. So we tooled into this cove, and when it happened, we was, we was partying down, all right? We was acting like heathens. 
And then these big black clouds started rolling in and it took the, the sun away. And we could hear the thunder off in the distance, but we thought, ah, I ain't nothing. We're going to be all right. You know, we're, we're heathens. We're out there. We're just having a good old time, right? <laughs> so we just kept partying. And then all of a sudden, Whoa! oh, my God. Whoa! And, then, Whoa! And, then, Whoa! and then the whale? Oh, no. That comes later. Oh, okay. Okay? It gets better, all right? Okay. Then there was flashes of lightning. It was like, a, you know, one of those crystal balls. What were they? When everybody oh, the disco balls? The disco balls! Stay yeah. alive! Stay alive! Stay alive! Stay alive! Oh, wait, it goes <laughs> Stay alive! Stay alive! Oh, God, Travolta did it so much better, yeah, didn't he? He's way better. So than here us. we are. We're out there. And what we thought, the water and the lightning, it don't mix? What's on my head? I, I don't know. <laughs> was, sorry. So we thought, oh, <laughs> oh, that's Mr. Purple. He's cute. I really liked him. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We thought the water and the lightning don't mix. So we're in this cove. We come out of the cove, you know. Oh, man, my motorboat's kind of, there it is. <laughs> so we're coming out of the cove, and the wind hits us from this side. And it hits us from that side. And we were still in the water this day. And I was going to And the waves are crashing over me. You're making me seasick. I was taking on the water. But it was a good thing I had my trusty ski belt on. Because then I looked like I was a, a bobber on the end of a fishing line. You know? So all I could think of was, just keep swimming, swimming, just keep, keep swimming. swimming. Dory? Yeah, and then it went a blue fish. And then it went a clown fish. You see him? Uh-huh. Okay. And then the whale got you? Well, yeah, I turned around when I watched the, the clown fish go by me, or the blue fish. I don't know, I'm so messed up. I've been in the belly of a whale. In the belly of the whale. All right. <laughs> and I looked, and my eyeballs must have got as big as saucers. Because... Here comes this something up over the top of me, and something was coming underneath me, and there was this big black hole, and all I could think of was, I gotta get out of here, and the whole thing. Um, Wanda, I'm having a really hard time believing all this. Well, wait, I'm not there yet. Don't you want to know how I even got down in there? I was hanging on! I <laughs> thought that was so, that was so vertical, and it was so slow that I was like a goner, like the red shirt on Star Trek. And I just went way right on down to the belly of a whale. And in the I was belly of the whale. The fish is there. <laughs> in the belly of a whale. In the belly I of the whale. I was highly nutritious there. In the belly of the whale. All right. <laughs> and it was cold and it was so dark. And I really missed you. Did you put me in there by praying for me? <laughs> no. Thank no, goodness. Wanda. I don't have to be mad at you now. No, Wanda. Oh, good. I'm not really believing all of this, that this all took place the way that you said it did. Oh, hey, I don't mean to brag. But look, what? remember I told you about those two fish? Can help? Look who I found. <gasps> who is that? Dory. Dory. Oh, right. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, when I was in the belly of a whale. In the belly of the whale. What is that? I have my trusty GoPro. Oh, I think I broke it. Oh, no, oh, it's okay. still good. Okay. If it was in the belly of a whale. In the belly of the whale. Then it's fine. Okay. <laughs> so I was trying to record myself. So, hey, I wonder if I got any of it. I don't know. You hey, want the tech, tech team? team? There you are. Can you play it? Please. Oh, here, here I am. I'm here on this boat. I'm so happy to be away from everybody. I'm just out here blowing my smoke and drinking my wine and having a fine time on this nice sunny day. And now Jenny's wanting me to get baptized. Baptized, that means I'm going to have to die. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no.
going back and forth. All right, God, if only I had my phone, I could pull up Genesis, and it said, what did you say in there? You said, oh, let there be light, and it was good? Okay, God, try it. Try it. Here we go. get swallowed by a whale and now I'm sitting in the belly of a whale and I'm in all the belly of the whale. juice covered and all these wonderful sea creatures. <laughs> oh my gosh! Help me. My teeth. Oh, okay, no. so I'm going to repent. I'm going to ask for your forgiveness. I didn't do it your way. I shouldn't be smoking and I shouldn't be drinking. I shouldn't be trying to run away from what you asked me to do. I really need to do what you asked me to do. So, if you could just get me out of the way, oh God, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, Ezekiel. I hope you get some meat on your bones. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that went, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, why were you so worried about dying? I'm not like going to kill you or anything here. Well, you said in order for me to get baptized, I was going to have to die to myself. And honestly, I mean, I just started living, Miss Jenny, and my family doesn't even have the money to bury me because I'm still out of work. I've been reading the book of Job, and I still don't have one. Are you talking about the book of Job? Job, J-O-B. It's Job. Job! Oh, my gosh! Oh, good thing he forgives me. I can't even get his word right. Wanda, you don't, like, physically die. It's, um, it's like a figure of speech. You're going to die to yourself, and you're going to be alive in Jesus Christ. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, That's you're not good news. That's good news. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, even Jesus himself was baptized. No way. He was. He was that in the Bible. <laughs> It was even in the Bible that Jesus was baptized. Let's uh, go ahead and roll that video. Cool. More video. Yeah, more video. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I have total breaking news. It's Matthew 3, 13 through 17. So, like, Jesus then appeared arriving at the Jordan River from Galilee. He, like, totally <laughs> wanted John to baptize him. John objected and was like... I'm the one who needs to be baptized, not you. But Jesus, like, totally insisted. He said, do it. God's work, putting things right, all these centuries, is, like, totally coming together right now in this baptism. So guess what? My boy John, he totally did it. The moment Jesus came up out of the baptismal waters, the skies opened, and he saw God's spirit. 
He looks like a dove, a turtle dove, descending and like landing on him. And along with the spirit, a voice. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. So that's far out, Miss Jenny. Yeah, so and Jesus had to be baptized. So have you been baptized too? Yeah, I have. And you know, our stories are kind of similar. You know, I got baptized and, and I was so excited. I went home when I got saved and really my heart was so changed. And I went home and I busted my pipe and I threw away my stash. And I was really out for living for God. But you know what? You know, I was keeping things in my back pocket. You know, sometimes Christians, we do that. We give everything to God on the cross, but we have that one thing in our pocket that we just don't want to give up, that we just, we just want it, and we're comfortable, and we think, well, he doesn't see it. It's in my pocket. Nobody sees what's in my pocket, right? And we don't give it up, and before I knew it, I was using again. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. I didn't know that about you, Miss <laughs> Jenny. I was still got stuff what? in my ear. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I started using again, and and I just thought, you know what? God's just never going to forgive me. He already forgave me once, so I can just never go back to him. What are you doing? I got something stuck in the oh. back of my throat. Okay, don't hack it out or anything. <laughs> It's enough to clean the carpet sometimes. Um, it's so, as possible. Yeah, you've made the best. Is that lettuce? Is that lettuce? I think that's the d digestive juices from the whale. Oh, okay. So anyways, so, you know, I had to be baptized. And when I went into that water, I died to myself. And when I rose, I was alive in Jesus. Far out. So, and I got rid of those things that were in my back pocket. Awesome. I want to be alive in Christ like you, Miss Jenny. Well, here, let me show you. Let's go do it. All right. Let's go do it. All right. Is there something on my leg? Oh, there's something on my leg. Oh, there's something on my leg. Oh, sorry. He told me there was oh, Sorry. So poor Wanda, she was afraid she had to die to be baptized. But what they were saying is to die to the old things you were doing. You did things in your, it was your own opinion, it was your own thoughts. But once you get baptized, what you want to do is you really want to follow Jesus. You want to be like him. That's what your desire is to be baptized. And then you're going to go with his opinion, what he thinks. What his word says, that's what we want to do when we get baptized. Come on, Wanda. I got lost. <laughs> oh. Lost okay, at least the Nothing like filling. Thank you, Kylie Thomas. Besides that, that's a that's a that's a deep ocean. <laughs> Our whale can fit in that one. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> in the belly of a whale. In the belly of a whale. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is nice. It's a lot better than the belly of the whale. Oh, my gosh. What's that? Okay. <laughs> As I stand before you, church, with Wanda. Wanda, what's your last name? Winkleman. <laughs> Winkleman. I knew people were going to laugh. <laughs> As I stand before you, church, with Wanda Winkleman. Wanda, you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, right? Yeah. And we've discussed baptism, and you understand that this is a public declaration that when I dunk you down, that you're going to rise and you're going to be new in Christ, right? That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> All right. Wanda, I, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. I've already been baptized. <laughs> Yay, Wanda! Yay! Oh, yeah, wait. Where's your seat? Hello? Hello? It's your
your favorite valley girl again. Anyways, attention all you parents. Today when you totally came in, your child was like supposed to be given a well puzzle with a scripture on it. Your challenge is to like totally go home and put the puzzle together as a family and discuss the scripture that I told you earlier. Then I totally want you to like take a selfie and send it to the email address, the church at mhccdirector at gmail.com before next Sunday. And if you do, your child's like totally going to win a super awesome, cool, special prize. Anyways, you need to discuss baptism as a family. And guess what? If you haven't been baptized, you can totally call the church office Monday at 870-580-0732. And we can like totally hook you up. Anyways, if you want to be baptized today, that would be like totally awesome too. Come down and talk to Eric and we can help you get baptized. Anyways, because if only we are fully died to ourselves, we can be alive in Christ. to be baptized today that hasn't been baptized and you feel like you want to be baptized there's no better time than now so that's it well most of the most of the young people if they haven't reached that age of accountability they quite don't understand yet so we we don't that's not a practice of ours normally I have uh, baptized some that are nine and ten years old uh, they had a great understanding I spent some time teaching them and sharing with them, which is our normal practice. I will meet with somebody, you know, for about 30, 40 minutes. We'll go over in depth what it means to get baptized. If you never had it, I encourage you to uh, make arrangements to do it. If you want to do that today, you're more than welcome to. We got towels, but we don't have extra clothes. So I may have an extra shirt, but it might be a little baggy. So, but it'd be all right. So, all right. What'd you think of this morning? Well done. Well done. Well done. Did you get that? Yeah. Just checking. Just checking. Well done, y'all. You did good. Um, this is a con this is a continuing saga of the journey of Wacka Wanda Winkleman. Now that she has a last name, okay. We will be continuing this on down the line. We don't know when the next segment will be. They got an idea about it. But um, lots of hands went into building this whale and fish. Yeah. Daryl Weeks and, uh, and Herman Luna uh, spent hours building that thing. And the tail moves. We've had it in the back. It's going to go to storage. Yeah. So we can have it in the future. We'll probably use it in a float or something. But yeah. turned out it does stink, though. Goodness. Yeah. Wacky Wanda. You, mm, girl. I know you spent three days in that thing, but that was horrible, okay? Does anybody in this house want to receive Jesus this morning if you have not already? Today is your day, okay? Everybody else born again? See, you're born again. Nobody else, okay? Anybody need prayer for anything at all? If you need to say, raise your hand. Okay, y'all good? Anybody got a hand raised? Where? Ah, Okay. Amber, Janet, would you guys pray for Michelle, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anybody else? He is the healer. Eric, Mr. Yes. Herman, the, the man who yes. The whale, he needs prayer. Yes, Mr. Herman came home from the hospital today. Yes. He has been through it, so um, that's Shirley's husband, and uh, he came home today, and we want God to continue what he's doing. He has received a miracle. He shouldn't be here. So, um, you know, this is a very exciting time for that family. So we'll pray for Herman as well. So I'm very excited about what God's doing. Um, there are tons of stories in this room about what God's doing right now in people's lives. And, um, you know, I'm just very, very excited about that. So let's pray for Herman. I'm going to pray for you and then we'll be dismissed. Okay. Father, we just thank you that you are the great healer. Jesus, you're the physician. Thank you for what you did. We've already reminded ourselves of what you did. But sir, you gave us all power and authority in this earth. And so we use that power and authority and we speak, continue to speak to Herman's body. We say, body, you continue to line up with the word. What has been lost or stolen will be restored. 
Father, we thank you that Herman's heart is right towards you and that uh, him and Shirley are having a great time together today. I know he's in lots of pain and we just ask that you uh, subside that pain as they, as they transverse through this um, um, a season in their lives. God, you're so faithful. And God, for all these folks that chose to come out today, I thank you for them. God, give them an awesome week as we are couriers and carriers of your presence wherever we go. We thank you that we will impact our territory for you because we're excited. We have joy unspeakable and full of your glory. We thank you, God, that we can be a sign. So God, I ask that you strengthen each and every person in here physically, mentally, socially, every area of their lives in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. amen. All right.